On Sunday, July 11th, our phone rang at 6.30 in the morning. On the other end was my sister who called to tell me that she spent the night in the hospital. She went for stomach pain, but after some tests, the doctors informed her that she had pancreatic cancer. Needless to say, Hunter and I were overwhelmed and shocked by this news. But on that Sunday in July, I knew there was no place that I wanted to be than in this church that morning. I can't imagine dealing with life's threatening circumstances without the church, without ministers who provide counsel and wisdom, without friends who pray for us and with us. It's my time in worship on Sunday morning that always gives me the perspective and the strength to support my family and friends through tough times. It's here that my faith is nurtured, it's supported, and it's challenged. It's here that my children learn faith. It's my time in worship on Sunday morning that always gives me the perspective and reminds me that my family has been very blessed and that we should share our blessings so that others might be blessed. Over time, I've experienced the incredible joy that comes from giving and witnessed the many possibilities that can be accomplished in this church through our collective giving. As chair of this year's annual campaign, there's some things I want to make sure you know about the church. First, your commitment is important to the church. It takes the support and commitments of many, of all different amounts, to fund the operations of the church. Your commitments fund the salaries of our staff, which I'm proud to remind you of because we have an incredibly gifted staff, from our pastors to our custodians. It funds the cost of operating the facilities, the power bill, the heat bill, insurance for our property, and our operational ministries, as well as our commitments to our outreach partners. The church is a good steward of your gifts. Like many of us, the church was deeply affected by the recession of 2008. But we've done well to make cuts and maintain our staff and our program ministries and continue support of our outreach partners. But these commitments need to increase. We ask everyone to consider an increase in 2011 over their 2010 commitments. Any increase of any size will be valued. Many of our ministries suffered great cuts since 2008 and have not received any additional funding since that time. Hunter and I increased our commitment for 2011. The session collectively increased their commitments. We know not everyone can, but know that any increase of any size will be valued. We're past the point where we need to hear from you regarding your 2011 commitment. I'd ask that you go online today on the church's website and submit your commitment for 2011. I truly believe that not only my family, but also this congregation has been very blessed so that we might be a blessing for others. I thank you for your faithfulness and for your generosity.